So this is problem number 16 on centroid of plane figures. Uh, here we have to find the centroid of the shaded area. Okay. To find the centroid of the shaded area, we have to find while finding the total area, we have to find the area of the shaded portion only. Uh, to find the area of the shaded portion, this overall uh, rectangle plus area of uh, rectangle plus area of quadrant of the circle minus area of quadrant of the circle 3 will give area of the shaded portion. Okay, so there are three components here. Let me, uh, so here uh, one more thing, reference axis is given here. You can see. So with reference to this reference axis, we have to find the distance of the centroid. Okay. Here it is given. Let me write it. It is given in the problem. The reference axis is given at the center here. So this is the reference axis. Reference x axis and reference y axis. So here uh, you can see this total rectangle. Total rectangle. I'll take it as component number one. Okay, component number one. And uh, I'll take this uh, quadrant of the circle as component number two, and this quadrant of the circle as component number. 3 okay to find the area or the center of the shaded portion while finding the area as i said before you have to find the area of the shaded portion only. in the overall rectangle overall rectangle plus area of quadrant of the circle minus area of quadrant of circle 2 will give area of the shaded portion sometimes this dotted line will not be given in the problem okay Sometimes this, this dotted line will not be given in the problem. If not given, you need to draw it, okay, to find the area of the shaded portion. Okay, if you do not draw the dotted line like this, if you do not form one more uh, quadrant of the circle, you won't be able to find the area of shaded portion. Okay, sometimes this dotted line will be given. Sometimes it will not be given. If it is not given, you have to draw it, okay. Now I have taken this total rectangle as component number 1 and quadrant of the circle as component 2 and quadrant of the circle one more uh, I have taken it as 3 and very important thing we can see that this rectangle as well as quadrant of the circle 2 both are coming in second quadrant both are coming in second quadrant in second in second quadrant x is negative y is positive so while writing the x values for overall rectangle and quadrant of the circle 2 you have to take negative sign with the x, x values okay and quadrant of the circle 3 is coming in first quadrant no problem both will be x and y will be positive that is one thing second thing quadrant of the circle 2 it is an unshaded portion so while finding the area you have to take negative sign for quadrant of the circle 2 okay? that is one more thing that you need to keep in mind while solving this problem and this problem is uh, repeatedly asked uh, question in your end, uh, university end examinations okay now uh, first we will write the formula for x bar and y bar for individual components if i take g2 as centroid of quadrant circle so this distance will be 4r by 3 pi x bar y bar is also 4r by 3 pi from its center from its center okay if i take g3 as centered of quadrant of the circle this distance is 4r by 3 pi and here it is 4r by 3 pi okay now first component is what total rectangle and coming to the total rectangle total rectangle 1 so area of rectangle is b into d width is 30 mm and what about the depth of the rectangle depth of the rectangle depth of the rectangle is equal to radius of the quadrant of the circle okay 
So whatever the radius we have 30 mm, the same radius will be there here on this side, which is equal to depth of rectangle. So sorry, 30. I have written 40. 30 mm. Okay. The radius of quadrant of the circle will in turn become equal to depth of the rectangle. Okay. So B into D, 30 into 30. So 30 into 30 means uh, it becomes a square, no problem. 900 mm square. 900 mm square. Coming to the X value for rectangle, see, we should be careful. This rectangle is coming in second quadrant. Okay. It is coming in second quadrant. Right. Rectangle is coming in second quadrant. So take negative sign. Minus d by 2. 30 by 2 minus 15. And y is positive. In second quadrant, x is negative. Only, only x is negative, y is positive. d by 2, 30 by 2, 15. Okay. Then you take the quadrant of the circle to quadrant of the circle 2. Okay. So it is having unshaded portion. As I said before, you take negative sign minus pi r square by 4, which is equal to minus pi into radius is how much? 30 mm only. 30 mm only. Pi into 30 square by 4. Okay. The answer is uh, minus 706.858 mm square. Okay. Then coming to the x value, x value means distance of g2 from reference y axis. So this is the x value for quadrant of the circle. Distance of g2 from reference y axis will will be x value. How we will find it? See this overall distance is 30 mm radius. Overall radius is 30. 30 minus 4 r by 3 pi. Minus 4 by 3 pi will give distance of g2 from reference y axis. So we should write that whole calculation in the bracket only. Minus of y minus this quadrant of the circle is also lying in second quadrant. Okay. Minus of 30 minus 4 into radius. Let me write the formula first. Minus of. 30 minus 4R by 3 pi. Okay. Which is equal to minus of 30 minus 4 into 30 by 3 pi. Okay. Therefore, the answer is 17 point. So, answer is you will get the answer as minus 17.268 mm. I hope you understood this calculation. X value for quadrant of the circle 2 means distance of G2 from reference Y axis. Okay. So overall distance from here to here is 30, 30 minus 4 by 3 pi will give distance of g2 from reference y axis, which is x value for quadrant of circle 2. Okay. Similarly, y value for quadrant of the circle means distance of g2 from reference x axis. Okay. If I extend the x axis reference x axis here. Okay. So distance of g2 from reference x axis okay y value y value so how we will calculate distance of g2 from reference x axis same calculation overall depth 30 minus this 4r by 3 pi will give 
distance of getting from electron six axis. Okay, and it will be a positive value. Thirty minus four r by three pi. Same answer you will get, but positive sign. Seventeen point two six eight millimeter. Okay. In second quadrant, x is negative, y is positive. So here, negative, positive, negative, positive. Okay. So I hope uh, you don't have any confusions in this. Next, we'll go for the third component, that is quadrant of the circle only. Quadrant of the circle three. Okay. And it is a shaded portion plus. Pi r square by four. Pi r square by four. It is having the same radius, 30 mm. We get the same answer, but pass distance 706.858 mm square. Coming to the x value, means distance of g3 from reference y axis. This distance. It is 4 r by 3 pi. Even the y distance. Y for quadrant uh, of circle three. Distance of G3 from reference x axis it is 4 r by 3 pi. Both are 4 r by 3 pi only. 4 r by 3 pi and both are positive because quadrant of the circle 3 is lying in the first quadrant. So x and y are positive. So 4 into 30 by 3 pi. If you calculate the answer, you will get it as 12.73. 732 millimeter and here. Same formula, same calculation, and same answer. Twelve point seven three two millimeter. Okay. So this completes the calculation of area x and y values. Now we calculate a x a y. So here it is minus thirteen thousand five hundred plus thirteen thousand five hundred. Then here it is uh, minus twelve thousand two zero six point zero two plus twelve thousand two zero six point zero two. Then for the third component, eight triple nine point seven one six. Or we can round it up to nine thousand. No problem. Finally, finally, you will get the same answer. Point seven one six. Okay. Now we we'll calculate the totals or summations. Total area is equal to it is nine hundred. Nine hundred. Then here sigma a x will get it as 7705.74. Sigma a y will get it as 10291.69. Okay. Now you can calculate the x bar and y bar. You know the formula. X bar is equal to sigma a x by sigma a. Seven thousand seven zero five point seven four divided by nine hundred, which is equal to eight point five six millimeter. And y bar is equal to sigma y y by sigma y ten thousand four ninety one point six nine divided by nine hundred. The answer for this is. Uh, Nine point four three five millimeter. Nine point four three five millimeter. Okay. So this completes the problem. Uh, if you have got uh, any doubts in any of the step steps here in this solution, you can uh, post your doubt in the comment section. Okay. Thank you.